We're going to do the uh, sub transmission uh, reassembly today. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. I just figured it out according to my uh, little diagram over here. There we go. I'm uh, having a good time with these diagrams now. I'm getting used to them. But let me show you guys because I was not so good before how to do all of this. So, okay. So what we're going to do is first we're going to start off. Uh, there's a big sprocket that goes in the bottom over here. Um, over that big sprocket there comes a, uh, it's the hat that goes on the inside of the, um, the shaft. It's going to go down into the sprocket over there. Um, then next you're going to have a little flat thing that's cut out into this shape over here. It's going to go down over that. Then you're going to have one of these clips. And put that back there. Then you're going to have one of these clips that's going to hold it in place down at the bottom. Um, and then this is where it gets a little bit tricky because now you've got to put this part over here. Let me get this out of your way. You've got to put this part over here, um, this part over here, and this part over here all in at the same time. So what you've got to do, um, you'll see this arm over here. There we go. It has a little, uh, little bolt that it clicks into over here. So put this arm in the upward position like this all the way up because it can actually bend past this all the way up. And what you do is... You first uh, wiggle this one in a little bit, and then you bring this one down. Sorry, this this one first, because it's got a bigger, bigger sprocket in the bottom, a small sprocket in the bottom. Wiggle it on over, then bring this one on, and then put this one on, and then you can just slot it all down into place like that. And then don't forget, um, on the bottom of this shaft and the top of the shaft, you need a thrust washer. That's just to stop any. You can see over there where it's worn into the. That's just to stop any. Um, so that's going to go right into there. See that? That's just to stop any friction against the casing so you don't break the casing. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean this gasket off. I've got a gasket already over there. I had to get a new one. And I'm going to go seal it up. And um, then we're going to start on the clutch side.